Well, as you recall, um, th this whole arrangement didn't really work out. This whole two-engine thing. Uh, so we'll just leave those there. It's not like the debt matters. John Doe's already taken my six chime. <laughs> What's up, guys? This is Heiss. Today we're playing DRL Valley. It's our career simulator playthrough. And uh, perhaps today, perhaps today at the harbor, there will be a DE6. How many episodes have we been trying to run with the DE6 in the slug? Too many. Will we be blessed today? It feels like Groundhog Day at this point. I'm going to make cockatoo sounds if there's not a DE6 in here. <laughs> How many diesel hydraulics can one man use? I mean, I guess we, we could re-rail this one, assuming it's not dead. No, it's dead. He's dead, Jim. Um, so we could use two diesel hydraulics or a steam choo-choo. You know what? Maybe the problem is we keep coming to the harbor. Let's go to the machine factory. <laughs> I don't even know where the slug is. It's been so long since we've seen it. I'm, uh, I'm not sure where we left it, so we'll just have to call it in. Assuming we have dollars for that now. We do for now. <laughs> Presumably there's still the rolled over DE6 that we wrecked by going 100 kilometers an hour through the yard. Um, <laughs> presumably that's still somewhere over there. It's fine. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <gasps> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. Thank you, Dural Valley. Oh, we got two! We could, we could haul... Some serious shenanigans. Let's see. ES and DT. Love to see it. What's this one? They're both ES and DT! Yeah, okay. So we've got those. Apparently this is just an ES and DT terminal. Wait. Uh, 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 all of them are. Literally all of them are ES and DT skinned. <laughs> That's hilarious. Anyway, I guess we'll go uh, take a look-see and see what jobs we've got. Um, and remember, there's also the military base here, too. Um, <clears throat> so we'll take a look and see if there's anything surprisingly heavy. And then maybe we'll... Uh, either we'll slug in DE6, or we'll just... Uh, we'll double DE6 and slug, or... God, goodness, who knows? Uh, not a lot of jobs. Shunting, 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 MacGuffin. Deliver empty containers. We've been blessed with all of the motive power in the world and a train that's like a sum total of like 150 tons. I was hoping for something closer to the thousands range, Dero Valley. Oh, there's tanks in there. Tanks. Logistical haul, can't do. We do have tanks. 208 tons. That, that's still not the, the mythical several thousand tons. <laughs> Is this where we just grab both the DE6s and then go somewhere else? Let's just take Bikini Bottom and push it somewhere else. Um. Yeah, I guess we could run to the iron ore mine. There's probably heavy stuff there. And that's pretty nearby. Ah! Ran into a pole because it was staring at me map. Yeah, let's um let's just grab both the DE6s and then go see what we can find at the iron ore mine. Although I guess we we could take those tanks and then stop on the way, but if we don't Oh, that's a weird graphical bug. I don't know what's going on there. Um, <clears throat> I don't know, like, iron ore mine, it's probably mostly stuffed to the steel mill, if I had to guess. Um, which would not be conducive to going to the military base. So, yeah, we'll, we'll just grab the, grab the tanks. I guess we're going that way. I can never remember page up and page down which one goes which way. 
Hello, Big Choo Choo, old friend. It's been a minute since we've seen one of you. Click. Traction motor is the knife switch. Come on. Uh, single tier. All right. Okay. Uh, where's the handbrake on this thing? Right there. Okay. Uh, uh, do we have lights? Yes. Yes, we have lights. There we go. Breaks off. Breaks off. Kind of forget how long it takes to load. <clears throat> Wee bit silly. All right. Yeah, um, I, I definitely allegedly operated a, not a DE6, but a, uh, <laughs> an EMD diesel locomotive somewhat uh, related to a DE6. That looks like it won't derail instantaneously. Oh, hello, inside the train. There we are. <clears throat> I, uh, yeah, allegedly operated a uh, GP39 once, and I was surprised at how fast it did load. You put it in one with the brake off, and you're doing like five mile an hour pretty much instantaneously. It was kind of crazy. Let's get some Y pitch going. And I guess we're not going to run from this one, so we can just shut it down. Because <coughs> we'll make these a back to back set, and then we'll uh, we'll run from the other one. Get me up in there. There we go. Doot, doot, doot. Bunk. Tunk. Bank. Okay. <clears throat> Hand brakes off. Table's lined. Let's turn some lights on. Come on. Contactors do contactor things. Alright, the brake res is coming up. We should have brakes, presumably. Seems like it. Alright. Brakes so good that we stop too soon. We're not going to yeet ourselves off the turntable for like the umpteenth time in this series. Okay, that should be, yep, more, more better, much more better. It is a drawing of a key. <laughs> Whee! Oh, this is as confusing as it is in real life. It's very strange when you ride on a turntable, because it's so big, it's like, oh, the whole world's rotating. It's kind of wacky. Now, I guess the question is, do I want to bother to MU these when I'm only going to use one to save fuel stuffs? <clears throat> I don't know. That's a lot of speed. A little breaky. A little breaky. Okay. Bunk. Uh, mm hmm. Hook it up. Well, at least cut the air in for sure. And then zap. I guess we'll see what happens. Because now, theoretically, the, uh, the controls will all train line, but the other engine's not turned on, obviously. So, yeah, it'll just make the brakes do the thing. And it means that we can run from either one. But all we gotta do is get out of the yard here. <laughs> with our, with our AA set of ES and DT boys. <clears throat> and then we have to blitz through the passenger yard, noting that there is in fact a squiggly at the end of the track. Whoever laid this track must have been heist. <laughs> it's got all kinds of squiggles in it. It's fine. There we go. Beautiful. I think 
or even clear those points. Click that over. There we are. High beams, low beams. Options, man. <clears throat> All right. We have places to be. Just not, not as fast as last time. <laughs> Why is the DE6 scared? I don't know. It's fine. Yeah, look at how squiggly this track is. Super squiggly. Just, just a pile of squiggles. <laughs> uh, it still makes me giggle. Yeah. What? Why? Why do you lay the track straight? Come on. Why don't you do that? It's fine. Pretty sure there's a quote from Hell on Wheels. Brett knows it quite well. I don't remember it properly. Something, something, something. Then why the blazes do you keep laying my railroad straight? <laughs> Probably good for 50 through here, right? It's a converging point. It's fine. It's fine, right? We're not even doing 50. Look, that was just super easy. Okay, we got a hundo. Notch. How many notches does this have? I think this one has 10. Notch 10. Um, uh, something. I don't remember that one. Notch 11, go to heaven for the DE2. Notch 8, don't be late for normal diesel locomotives. Somebody came up with one for Notch 10. I don't remember what it is. It's fine. Got places to be. Downhill, full throttle. It's just so calm. So easy. Alright, that's plenty of speed. And I want to say that this, like, violently degrades down from that 100. Just past an 80. And then I think the 80 had another down speed associated with it, so. Put it in full dinos. Oh. Dinos can make the wheel the wheel slip? The, oh god, that's a five. It's fine. It's fine. See? It's fine. I'm trying to think. I guess if there wasn't, if it was wet or, or like the friction wasn't there, you could technically slide the wheels with dynamic braking, I guess. But in order for the dynamic braking to break, the wheels need to be spinning? That's a thought experiment that I haven't thought about. I don't know, right? Because you're, you're using the traction motors as generators and that's what's providing the braking force. I'm curious. W would that lock up the wheels or not? I don't. I don't honestly know. <clears throat> any any class one engineers or conductors out there? I know there's a couple of you that watch the channel. Have you ever slid the wheels in dynamic braking? My guess is an engineer, uh, a mechanical engineer, not a railroad engineer. My guess would be that it, you shouldn't be able to lock them up. Because if the wheels are no longer rotating, then you don't get any braking force, and then it would, and then the wheels would rotate again. So maybe you could like very briefly lock them up, but I don't think they'd actually just like lock up and slide like that. I don't know. It's an interesting thought experiment. Okay, I think we're in this big, yeah, the the return bend. Here. So we're almost to the Iron Orman. Go see what we can go find. Hopefully there's some heavy choo-choos. And we're gonna show up here, there's gonna be another DE6, and then we're just gonna make stupid sounds at it. <coughs> Alright, here we are. Lined into the yard. There's only one cut of cars here at all?! Zero Valley, where are all the trains? <laughs> There's no trains. Okay, well, the steam engine. I think it usually spawns the steam engine here. Seems to be pretty reliable on that. This is it? 
This is, it's gonna be like an unload and store. Yeah, unload and store a train with excavators. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. Uh, well, we're a long way from anywhere else. We've got these DE6s. We get it unload and store these, and then, and then, and then, and then it'll be a logistical haul that we can't do. Maybe that's why there's no trains. Uh, Dear Old Valley's like, you haven't moved any cars back to any other destinations. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Well, uh, I guess we're switching today. We're going to switch with a back to back set of DE6s. <laughs> because. Because, uh, uh, because the RNG gods have said that's what we're doing. Oh, that's right. You've got the dates to pay! <clears throat> right, right. That's a big number. $776,000. Oh! Oh, that, those are the boys that blew up last time. Alright, $540,000, and maybe I get my whistle back. And uh, I've got $80,000. Okay, so, you know, uh, we'll eventually claw our way out of debt here. Uh, so I guess we'll just uh, say we're going to pay that. Service it manually. It does not matter. Sorry. I don't even know where that tender is. <laughs> oh, God. I still have the, the job order for those? Okay. Uh, we need to bin that. Despawn those cars. All right. Here we go. Grab all the cars, unload them on the eight, and then we're gonna store some of them on the one and some on the seven. Because it really matters where we store all these cars in this empty yard! Cockatoo sounds. It's fine. <clears throat> it is fine. Come on. Go. Load. Gage goes spicy. Okay, so two of them, 69 and 626, yeah, 69 and 626 go on the 7, and we're grabbing them off of the 2, right, and so we need to line that last switch, ramming speed! <coughs> Quit it with the wheel slip. Maybe I should just call the slug in anyways, just so I don't get wheel slip. Or, you know, maybe I shouldn't have brought a second DE6 for no reason. It's fine. Okay. Snake in there. So the one is there. The seven is over there. And then the eight is where the loading unloading happens. Okay. Gently now. Gently. More air. More air. Okay. That's pretty good. <coughs> Gentle dunk speed. Bunk. Get up there, you. Tunk. Do we even want to hook up air? We should probably hook up air. Seems to be an advisable thing. A lot of times when switching in flat locations, you don't hook up air. Or if you're on the, the downhill end of something. It's pretty common. So if uh, like that end of the yard was up, and so the only way place the cars can go is roll back into me, sometimes you don't set up the air. And that way, uh, you don't have to wait for train to charge and do a brake test and everything. Because it takes a fair amount of time to actually charge and test a train, depending on what kind of control valves the cars have. Because <coughs> each car has its own uh, auxiliary reservoir that holds air. Why are you notching up? T is the throttle button? How long has that been the throttle <laughs> I was trying to lean and I was... We got uh, too far over. I'm mixing up my key commands. 
Yeah, each car has its own auxiliary reservoir. That boy right there. Uh, brake cylinder, and then a control valve. The control valve is what actually says, hey, use the air from the reservoir and do stump something with it. And depending on what type of control valve it is, uh, some of them charge super quick, some of them take forever. Most of the modern ones take forever because uh, they're extra safe and stuff like that. <clears throat> the old school stuff like K triple valves uh, those will work pretty much instantaneously it's just like oh yeah it just works all right line that switch line that switch we're going all the way to the eight to go find my choo choo I need to buy the bloody remote isn't that sold at the machine factory why didn't we buy it when we were there Oh, well, now we don't have any money, so. And we're going to continue not having any money. How much does this job even make? 23 grand. So if we're fast about it, we'll get a little bit more than that. I still don't know where those two cars are, 626 and 69. Let's we'll see if those are on the, the long end or the, the short end. Are they close to us or not, rather? 448, so it's, I guess it's probably going to be the first two cars, then. It's going to be the 626 and the 69, right? Oh god, that's a lot of cars. Yeah, 626, 69. <laughs> if you're the real Bill and Ted, what number are we thinking of right now? 69, dudes! <laughs> oh, beautiful. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna get everybody on this track, and uh, we're unloading. We're unloading the excavators at the loading thingy. That's uh, yeah. That's that's how that works. It's fine. We only have dedicated L tracks. There's only one at each, in each industry, I think. There might be two if they've got multiple yards. Actually, if I'm thinking about it right. But where is the uh, where is the actual doohickey? The, the flappy paddle lever select the cargo loady unloady buddy where is it look at, look at that pile of iron uh <clears throat> sir the bomb oh right there blend it in uh train in range unload no, the other... I, I moved you the... Some of the interaction things are confusing in this game sometimes. Something, something. It was designed for VR. Something, something. Okay, uh, which... Those are going to the 7. Okay, so we can just back out, kick those onto the 7, and then call it a day. So what we'll do is we'll just break the air off right now, bottle it, because we're bad kids... Uh, and then we will back up and kick it. Kicking? I want to do some kicking! Okay, that was released. Good. <laughs> it's so goofy to me that the brake valve starts right there. That's released. No, over there is released. That's like... That's like suppression already. <laughs> Yeah, Dero Valley's fun. I I love what they did with Simulator. The, the gameplay is fun. There's a lot of weird, like, that's not accurate to a real train. But I, I don't know how important that always is. Obviously, I'm a very nitpicky, detail-oriented kind of person, and I tend to see those things and then freak out about it. But gameplay-wise, um, it's got the best simulation, it feels like. Some of the best stuff, which is... Uh, Hilarious in a game as silly as Derail Valley. It's called Derail Valley. Why? Why is the train simulation better than than most other actual Sims? Something, something. Passionate devs. Something, something. Okay, we need to go another couple cars. <laughs> really should have bought the locomotive remote. Save my F key. No. Get in reverse, you. Come on. 
Gently. That'll add subtractive effort, remember? I'm pulling a lot of amps. So many amps. Okay, that ought to be enough. And send the 626 and the 69 down into the 7. And we'll just, we'll just kick him. We don't even need to be coupled at all. We'll kick him, then we'll back up to clear the switch, let them roll into place. Try to not get eaten by the terrain. Come on. Alright, here we go. That's probably plenty of speed. Hooks up the automatic, refuses to use it. Wheel slip. It's a pretty long track. I bet we can pull back clear the switch before we have to go get those cars. I bet we can. What do you think, viewers? Is that a good way to accidentally have those cars overshoot? That's a the track is so long. It's fine. It will be fine. And we're putting these back on the one, I think, right? Tunk. Right, the one. The the lit. The lit. Uh, yes, the one. Okay. Choo. <clears throat> those cars are still rolling. So are those. Map! Stop slurping me. Alright, and now ramming speed. Ramming speed! The other forwards. Go. <laughs> puts it in notch 10, puts sand on. I think the speed through the tunnel is 40. So I'll just, I'll just do that real quick. Blitz through. Oh god, are those cars gonna roll too far? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Oh, I really hope they don't roll too far. <laughs> you have done that yourself. Yes. Anyway. Uh, dump the air there, and then... Uh, stop! 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 Please! Stay on the track! Okay, they're within the signs. That should be fine. And that, th this should be fine too. It looks like they're all there too. We planned it that way. It's orchestrated, calculated, interpolated, extrapolated. <laughs> looks, we're words that end in aided. Yes. Okay. Uh, pshu. Yeah, 11 minutes. There you go. <laughs> No damage to the environment. It's been towed outside the environment. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. There we go. How do you like them apples? We switched some stuff. With, with a lot of dead weight. <clears throat> uh, just sh shut up, you. Stop being... Open the country. Stop having it being closed. Close the aim, for God. Anyway. Uh, mm, we'll go find out. Like, locomotive remote. Now we have some money. We're gonna go to the machine factory, see if we can get locomotive remote, and then maybe think about doing something with it. It's one one little switch job. Come on, it's like it's like nothing. Now it's just new cars, empty car. 170 tons. Yeah. RNG does not like me today. Where is the shop? Want anything from the shop? Uh, there it is. It's just the one killer, actually. It's, uh, that's one of my favorite movies. Obviously, uh, it, it turns out my brain just quotes movies all the time. I made a thing of it last episode, but actually just, that's just what my brain does. We sold out of lanterns! I think they're all lost and found. Uh, we want a locomotive remote. Yes. Uh, can be attached a couple. And a train line. We haven't done that. But we want to save money, so anyway. Uh, wallet. This is your wallet. Yes. Alright, now we're ready for danger. 
Let's go back to the iron ore mine. We left that DE6 running, so it should still be there. It shouldn't despawn, right? Yeah. <laughs> you you, you want to do the same thing, but this this time with, with the locomotive remote? Oh, goodness. That's silly. <clears throat> okay, what do we have? Dates to pay. I don't believe you. Okay, we could... One drop off. Oh, goodness. Okay, so that's just going to be stupid fast. Uh, or we could take four cars of iron ore to the steel mill. I don't know. Let's uh, let's see. We're going to compare. <laughs> Spicy switching with the remote uh, versus not. How, how, how it does do different. Uh, so I start by throwing it on the ground because I forget about the alt mode. Um... Does it not work with the DE6? Oh, they did change that for simulator, didn't they? I'm gonna keep pressing the button and it'll work, right? Uh, I'm gonna check that real quick because um, I don't, honest to God, no. Okay, I checked the wiki. Yep, it uh, officially does not work for her. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't work anymore. Yep. Yeah, not for the DE6. It only works for the diesel hydraulic and the DE2. <laughs> uh, but don't question me. It's fine. Does the other one say the same thing? No. Uh, mm hmm. So I guess we could run to the steel mill. Which. Which way's faster? That way? Or that way. That way. This way is definitely. It's gotta. It's gotta be that way through the machine factory. You know what? You know what? That just sounds like a, a good old-fashioned good time. Is just all the tonnage, all the time. It says 67 minutes. How fast can one man run two locomotives? We'll, we'll fire up both of them. We'll fire up both the E6s, and then we will just. Blitzkrieg as fast as we can to the steel mill and pray that we then have some tonnage to play with when we get there for next time. I think that sounds like a dumb idea, don't you? Sound like a plan? Okay. Uh, where those are on the like the six or something. Okay. So we gotta get past that switch. Go through the terrain that uh, is not happy about being in a tunnel, apparently. Okay, there we go. Now we'll get the other switch on the way. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like this idea that, that we're gonna just try and run as fast as we can with way too much power. Uh, and a fog's rolling in. So, you know. Do you need to see where you're going at 100 kilometers an hour? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Might not be important. It's fine. Uh, someone's told me that they've done some testing, and apparently you can reliably go 10 faster than all the speed limits say through every curve. And in some curves, up to 15. But 10 to 15 is where it starts to... Uh, become spicy. Well, dunks. Falls off the tracks and all that. 25 grand. What do you think the, um... I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> Just yeet it out the window. Um, 25 grand. I wonder if it's going to make us, um... Oh, God. Air. Air. Air! Ah! Ow. It's fine. <laughs> Kicking. Go! Go! D6. Silly choo-choo. Yeah, I wonder if it's going to uh, make me have to clear my, my date again. Did I already break this car? Yeah, a little bit. It's fine. It's only a couple bucks. Alright, that's getting charged up. 
We're gonna fire up the other DE6 here. Uh, oh yeah, all that's still up. We just gotta go to the engine bay. <coughs> this is about to be the sports train of all time. <laughs> the Jeremy Clarkson approved TGV-12 sports train. Wow. Okay, fine. Fine, I will pay my debt. Nitpicky as John Doe. Uh, how about that locomotive? Sure. It's the most expensive one we can afford. That ought to be fine. Boop. All right, there we go. 67 minutes to go. How fast can we do it? I bet we can do it in under, under 20 minutes. All right, let's go. Straight to, straight to a 10, whatever it is. Notch 10, don't be late. God, we did pull 1,500 amps. All right, so we know that the speed through the tunnel's uh, 40, so I guess we'll get it up to 50. And then, and then we'll shut off. Let it roll. Yoink. It does not feel like we should be able to go this fast through this. There we go. Come on, more speed. More speed! said 50 and we're sitting here coasting through it at track speed we want to be above track speed we're overachieving it's extra credit hours with professor heights the mad bird behind the wheel <clears throat> okay it's still 40 but there's our 50 god that's a lot more than 50 it's fine get a little dinos Doing 54 and a 40, it's fine. Uh, and then that's a that says 50, so let's go. Got places to be, and it's a grade. Come on, bring me that horizon. And we know because we just ran this way going the other way that the speed upgrades several times in a row. See, 80. So I'm just gonna leave the hammer on, just full. Full beans! Give it the beans! The beans! <laughs> I was honestly expecting this to probably accelerate fa Like, I was hoping it would accelerate faster than this. Anyway. Oh god, we gotta go to the A6 with this? Nobody wants to go to the A yard at the steel mill. Literally no one. Fine. 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 If a must. We're not even doing track speed. And now it's 100. It's gonna go down, though. <laughs> I don't know this alignment that well. I don't know how fast you can go through it. Well, there's 80 again. And we're just now doing a little bit more than 80. So I'm just gonna leave the, leave the hammer on. Pedal to the metal. Foot's on the floor. Keep your foot on the, keep your footboard on the pedal. So never mind them brakes, because we gotta run to make, right? If I actually try and sing that with uh, with a melody, YouTube will get angry, but, you know, southbound and down. <laughs> we'll load it up and trucking. Uh, it says I could, I gotta go 60, but I'm pretty sure that we're just about to blitz into the yard. It says 50. Uh, there are squiggles, but it's, it's straighter than you'd think, he says, having wrecked last time he went through this yard at this speed. Oh god, that, no, no, no. Okay, okay, maybe 90 is a, a bit much. <laughs> yeah, maybe 90 is a lot. Just, uh, let's just give it some air. And we'll just kick it off, make it through the rest of these squiggles, which we can probably do at 60. We can go through these squiggles at 60. Oh god, there's a turn. Okay, how about some dynamic braking? No, this is fine. It's fine. It's fine at the speed. And then, uh, and then we get speed. We're gonna get the speedy, speedy. We're gonna see how fast we can get a DE6 to go. Come on, here we go. Notch 10. Something, something. Notch 8, don't be late. <laughs> uh, this isn't the map. This isn't the armory. Yeah, uh, it's just flat and straight. Well, not flat, it's downhill. 
straight super fast for a bit, then we got a couple little spicy bits, uh, and then it goes back to just stupid fast. We can be doing a hundred apparently. <laughs> With two two DE two or DE sixes and we can't get it going that fast? Come on. That's a six. <laughs> okay, we hit a hundred, congrats. Let's put it in full dinos. That's what we do have, is we have a lot of dynamic raking power with this train. Alright. Oh, that's still 80. Come on, keep slowing down. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Okay, we'll just kind of keep it pinched down at about 70-ish. Um, and then when we get on the next straight, well then we'll just give it more beans. That says six. We're doing seven and some change. I believe in a thing called love. I mean speed. I mean beans. I mean power. You know, I'd try to actually hit those notes in that song by the darkness right now, but um, <laughs> my throat still hurts from playing with real steam choo-choos too much this Polar Express season. Uh, so yeah, talking is one thing. Uh, <laughs> Hitting ridiculously high falsetto is uh, an entirely different conversation. That's a hundred, full speed, full steam ahead. Light the last of the boilers, let's go. Come on, got places to be. <laughs> places to be, beans to be had. <laughs> beans, beans to give. It's fine. We're on the, the big last long straight before City Southwest. Got a couple squigglies we gotta worry about. Uh, and then it's all quick from there. Still can be doing 100. We're still doing 100. We're doing more than 100. Because I bet you can do more than 100. Um, and we just... We're just gonna see if we can break the speedo off before we have to slow down. Okay. Uh, I see the thing up there. We almost broke the speedo off. Oh, that was 100. Oh. I thought that was different. Okay, that's fine. I thought it was the curve and I got scared. There's an eight. Let's give it full dinos. Alter alternate between full full dumped brake pipe and full dynamic brakes. Cause there's a 30 coming up. And this track is a bit squiggly. MOW needs to come dress this. And deal with the trees. Trees! Why did it have to be trees? <laughs> Dota 2, anyone? No? Toxic? I can't toxic. Okay. Isn't it 30 through this bend? I thought it was 30. Yes, it is. Okay. Keep slowing down, 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 keep slowing down. Hit it at 45. I guess that was a, a, a good experimental test of, uh, God, I wish, I wish I could remember things more good or more, uh, off, readily off the top of my head. Um, somebody in the comments said that. You go 10 to 15 over every curve. And we just tested it, and it, and it definitely worked. They weren't even trying to goat me into derailing more, which is, you know, entertaining. Okay. That's a nine to the left, yes. Excellent. More beans. More beans. <laughs> and a nine immediately followed by a six. Come on. The six, the nine's supposed to come after the six. And then it's at, like, that's not even a 60. We got an eight. Some of the speed signs in this game are uh, a little strange. And then we got a, yeah, and a five. I want to say back in the day, the, uh, the thing was is that they procedurally placed all the speed signs. Oh god, that is sharp. Why did the sound change like there's a window open? Got the outsides. Oh. I somehow opened that door from my seat. It's fine. 30, and we're not lined. Oh crap. Crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, 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 crap. Full dinos. Yurink. Sweet. Clock that sign to death. Jesus. <laughs> okay, 
Full power. Unlimited power. Yeah, there you go. It's fine. We planned it like that, right? Okay, so 60 through here. We're, this is the second junction. So that is this boy right here. We're gonna have one left-hander and then it's basically just beans. We're gonna blitz through, say hi to the boys at high speed. Um, and uh, yeah. Still in a 60 and we're doing 70. So we'll just hang on to it right there. <laughs> now it says 80. So I guess we'll just uh, give it a little more. And then it's another 60, but I think this is the 60 for the yard. Uh, although there is a squiggle and a curve there. So maybe we'll refrain. We'll keep the, uh, the, the beans spoon in our hand. It's full of beans, and it's in our hand. But we're not going to give them to anybody yet. Oh yeah, for, thi for this curve right here. It's fine. Alright, now! The beans! Look at all these boys! Oh, there's so many boys. Explodey boys. The, uh, the intrusive thoughts to just line myself into that track. Oh. Someday. Someday we will have enough money to pay off our debt. And then we'll just... We'll, we'll just have fun. It's fine. Okay. 90. So we can go 90 around this curve. I bet we can go faster than 90 around this curve. He said doing 100. And then it's a 60, but this is just because we're going to the farm. Yeah, look at how easy that is. It's a 50 to the left. Oh, that, sh that curve does look a little sharp sharper than us going 110. Uh -huh. Don't, don't you do it, don't you do it. Okay. Beautiful. All right, full speed. <laughs> you just highball through the yard. <laughs> He's gonna highball in the yard. I ain't going yard speed, I'm gonna highball. Yep, and then that looks a little spicy. So we'll just uh, go to full dinos. Full full emergency brake, actually. Just wombo combo those wheels. Look at how fast this thing slows down when you've got two DE6s worth of dynamic brake in it. Oh, you know what's gonna be interesting? Is I bet you, I'm, th I'm glad I'm thinking about this now. I bet you I left that steam engine on the main at the steel mill. I think we, we threw out the job with the the Splody boys, right? That that derail like ran into us, but th those were also on the leg of the Y. So I think we'll be okay from those. Got a 70, so we'll just kind of let it ease down with the grade and give it some dynamic brakes because we're scared, and it changed to a 60. And we're gonna have to see. I don't know how we're lined at the steel mill. And I don't know if we're gonna come up upon a steam locomotive at ramming speed. We might. Okay, uh, we are lined straight, and yes, there is a steam locomotive uh, directly on our 12. At least we can see it from far enough away. Put it in full dinos, and then we'll just kind of punt it out of the way, I think. Like, we don't need to do anything other than, we've got plenty of horsepower to just nudge right through it. And by punch it out of the way, I mean I don't mean at track speed. I mean like at a safe, reasonable coupling speed. <laughs> okay. Ah, there we go. That feels a little better. Let's see, the dynamic brakes are no longer doing anything because we're not going slow enough or fast enough. Okay. Beautiful. Just chef's kiss. Dunk. Notch 10. Uh, give it the bend. I don't know. Whatever. We're gonna go yeet this choo-choo. The traction motors are getting hot. God, that never happens on the D6. Maybe I shouldn't be pulling 1500 amps all the time. <laughs> and then the A yard is over there somewhere. Thing's still got a brake on, but it's whatever. Figure it out. I'm sure leaving this train on the main still somewhere will have no repercussions whatsoever. 
<laughs> it sounds like the pistons are full of water, too. It's fine. Ah, oh, those brake shoes. Those brake shoes are a little mad. It's fine. Uh, a what, where does it, where do they need to go? A six. Okay. Which is gonna be lined there, lined there, lined there. Okay. Cool. We'll stab these in and see just how fast the 67 minute job uh, can be done in. Okay. We're now in running from the other end. Steam engine is just like, it's just stopped right there. It's fine. Brakes are complaining. Sissies. <laughs> okay, let's see. Line to the left. Line to the right. Line to the right. Sometimes they put other cars on these tracks. Sometimes, I want to say, but this is... This is the only other inbound track at the steel mill. It's one of two. We're lined all the way in. And there's no other cars on this track. Okay. Cool. Which, I, yeah, I guess this track wouldn't ever have that. Maybe it was an older version of the game. I remember, like, having to deal with a bunch of stupid stuff going on there. Oh. Oh my god. Why are those brakes so mad, Heiss? <laughs> we never took the handbrake off. We've been dragging a hand one handbrake the whole time. Why isn't it accelerating that fast? I don't know. Because you left a brake on, ding dong. Oh my god. It's just like, why does it sound like there's a break? I can't hear it over my two DE6s, herder. Yeah, gee, I wonder why. <laughs> yeah, that break, uh, we never took that break off. That's fine. It was just, it was ready to be set when we got here. <laughs> oh, that's, uh, that's, um, that's fine. <clears throat> that's why we brought the extra horsepower. We're trying to flat spot the wheels. 16 minutes! We did it in less than a quarter of the time. That's hilarious. Car damage. Regular wear and tear. Right, right, right. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Anyway, 30 grand. There it be. Two quick jobs. We still have much date to pay. Another $455,000. It's fine. It's fine. I made some payments, John Doe. Like, give me my whistle back. Why you gotta do that? <laughs> okay, well, uh, maybe next time. Is there is there tonnage here? Okay, there's some there's some amount of stuff. Like, is there gonna be anything super fun? Couple things to machine factory, one thing to goods factory, and one thing to the harbor. And the one to the harbor is the heaviest. And it's still only like 570 tons. It's still underneath what we need for one DU6. Maybe run to the harbor next time, and then, uh, and then, and then, and then maybe there will be something heavy at the harbor, and then we can use the DE6s because we brought them to the harbor. Yeah, I guess that'll be that. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. We'll catch y'all next time.